What's up, y'all? Thanks for stopping by. Young Rock. This is uh, Season 1, and this is Episode 2, entitled On the Road Again. Now, Young Rock, <clears throat> and it's the initial, uh, you know, the first episode last week, it drew 5 million viewers. And uh, in this episode, it shows uh, Dwayne, or Tomas, as he wanted to be known to his crush, Divine Karen. And this girl has some high standards, and Tomas was going to need to show her what he had that the other boys didn't. Some advice from his dad, Rocky Johnson. And what that was, was a Hans and Franz impression that she dug. She dug it. And if those of you don't remember, that was from uh, Dana Carvey and Kevin Nealon. Uh, they did their version of uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger, uh, We Will Pump You Up, that thing. And uh, I think they even had uh, Schwarzenegger even got in, got into it and actually, you know, did the skit with them. But uh, he did that and it worked. His dad wasn't too sure on it. His dad wasn't too hype on it, but it got him to pretty much get in there, uh, get into her space. You know what I mean? Because she doesn't let in any other any order any ordinary you know Tom, Dick, or Harry up in there, up in her area. You know her uh, her cosmos, if you will. And uh, she said, you know, call me. And he did. And they decide to, uh, they, they've been talking on the phone. And uh, she says, he says that it's going to be better when you talk, you know, one-on-one. -on -one. They decide to have a date. And uh, the first date is uh, taking her to see her, his dad, uh, wrestling at a college. Uh, pretty pretty decent venue there but when they get there it's a flea market or a you know what I mean that's right next to the college and she wasn't really to you know she wasn't digging that and he convinces her you know to stay because he wasn't going to leave he said you want to go go ahead go home he ends up staying there she stays with him and they sit together and you know this is far from when he, you know, his dad, Rocky Johnson, was wrestling Ric Flair or even Roddy Piper, and he actually showed that here. And he got two guys that were pretending to, you know, portraying them, and they looked pretty decent. The guy that was playing Ric Flair and the guy that was playing Roddy Piper, they were dressed up in their usual gear and kind of recognizable and a good effort. And, uh, you know, he goes from that to wrestling a guy from the water or from the ocean or was he from and he was known as the gull and you know it just goes to show that he was on his dad's on hard times you know he goes from like I said Ric Flair and Roddy Piper to the gull and he's wrestling at a flea market not in the usual venue he was used to when he was working for Vince McMahon and that is the uh, Madison Square Garden and in the end, Dwayne Johnson's uh, Dwayne uh, Johnson or Tomas, he impresses uh, his girl with a great wrestling show. She was in on into it. I think she was a little into it, too much into it. Like it was real. She was yelling at the guy because it looked like uh, she was seeing uh, Rocky's dad, you know, Dwayne Tomas, you know, in pain, and she was yelling at the guy to stop it. You're hurting him. You're hurting him. You know. And then when he flips it up, and when he flips it around, and then Rocky Johnson's in control, and he hits that drop kick and he and he connects with the sunset flip gets a pin she's all into it she's screaming she's happy she's jumping up and down she's loving it and she even tells Rocky Johnson that was a great show and you know what better way to impress a girl right you take her to a live uh, show and you know she's never been to a live show that's what Karen said and at least she goes to show that, that she was very uh, you know very uh, you know happy that she able to get to see a live show no matter how small or big it was you know and uh, she he ends up um, getting some you know because he, he told her hey my dad has some nice merch I'll, get, I'll bring you some on Monday and he does and there's a hat that says Rocky on it I think Rocky three times on it and then some uh, then he ends up uh, Rocky does Dwayne does Tomas does <laughs> He ends up knocking out some dork who dared say that wrestling is fake because you never use the F word when it comes to wrestling. And as a little kid, if you remember in the last episode, uh, he was told that by Andre. Andre picked him up and said, never say that again. 
And we actually see in this episode that his mom and dad are struggling because Rocky is no longer, you know, wrestling for Vince McMahon. He's not making the big money. I mean, even for this wrestling show, he held out for three shows, and after that, he wanted to get paid. Supposed to get paid three hundred per show, he ends up getting paid three hundred. So his wife, uh, Ata, I mean Ata, says, "Next time, get the money up front." And that's true, especially during this time in wrestling. You know, sometimes the uh, you know the uh, promoters would uh, would pretty much uh, you know shorthand you, if you will. You know, they would uh, give you money and it wasn't promised it wasn't promised that they're only gonna give you 200 100 you know there are people that back in this day that would make only 25 dollars to show you know and there wasn't no big money guarantees no contracts that they got they got now you know back then they had to really scrape and save for uh, all this uh for you know whatever they put out there but a lot of them loved wrestling and they were willing to go through with that and one day maybe make the big payday that's why everybody strived to get to the WWE, WWF back then, in order to make that big uh, payday. But uh, I like this episode. It really was uh, nice. It was really sweet. Uh, it was a uh, really uh, fun episode. Um, I loved the uh, adventures of uh, Dwayne and what he's trying to do, going after this girl. And um, you see, of course, the Rock now. You know, he's of course he's running for president, so he's getting, you know interviewed by Randall Park and Randall Park says something like he's a former actor you know because by so I guess by the time 2032 comes around I guess Randall Park uh, doesn't see himself as an actor anymore I guess <laughs> I don't know but uh you know don't give these guys ideas they might very well do that and not hire you anymore who knows you know but anyway uh this episode was really fun I liked it um I really liked the show um and I looked on the uh on the website or on uh, online and it only showed like three episodes I guess maybe it's just because they haven't posted up the fourth episode yet or something like that. So I'm just thinking there's only three episodes, but um, you know, I'll just I'll watch these as long as the however many episodes you have this some season, and uh, it's so far so good. And I really really do enjoy it. You know, I, I think it's a very good show, and um, you know, it's what it is. And um, you know, you just gotta just uh, get into it and have fun with it, and really really look at it as a way to know and learn about. Uh, wrestling back in the day back in the early years where these guys didn't make much money it was all about you know family and it was all about these guys just working hard to make that make that buck when it comes to uh, wrestling wherever you wrestled wherever these guys wrestled they they just did it because they loved it and oftentimes you didn't get paid a lot but it was all about putting on a show that's what Rocky Johnson was doing. I mean, he was wrestling in a small venue like that, or even the flea market. But his mind was thinking it's Madison Square Garden. But uh, well, that's my um, my uh, recap and thoughts on uh, Young Rock. This is uh, season one, episode two, titled "On the Road Again." So, for those of you who stopped by and checked it out, I appreciate it. And in closing, as always, take care.